Hi guys, had to do a rethink on this car for Aisha as is because she's come back and told me that you can't use paper clips on it. So this car is now just cardboard with pencils for axles and a number 64 rubber band split in half to make it longer. See if I can show you what I've done. It's actually based on the chassis from one of my older cars, so I'll put a link to the original build for that car. But it's quite simple, it's just a strip of cardboard folded up the edges so that we've got cardboard bearings for the axles to go through. And then I've put small cardboard discs either side to hold the axle in place, stop it going backwards and forwards or side to side. The rubber band goes through a small hole in the chassis there and clips onto itself to hold it in place. At the back end I've added another disc of cardboard on either side of the wheels just to make them a little bit heavier because this car's even lighter and I was getting wheel spin again. And on the back axle, I'm not sure if the camera will pick it up, I've put a little bit of hot glue to make a little spike to hold the rubber band as we're winding it up. So that's the only bit of gl glue. Oh, well, obviously I glued these wheels together using contact adhesive. But we're now doing 9 metres quite successfully. It hit the door so it would have carried on so it probably would have done 10 metres. I doubt whether we're quite fast enough but there's still some potential for tightening the rubber band up a bit more. The other thing is when you're winding up the rubber band if you stretch it as you're winding it up you can get more turns so it'll go further anyway. I don't know if that's showing it but so if you actually stretch the rubber band, then you can get more turns around the back axle. So there we go. That's Aisha Aziz's car version 2 with no paper clips. There we go, full 9 metres.